Hello everybody, um, my name's Alex, I'm a paramedic here in London's Calling. Um, standing to my left is Connor, one of our CTMs. We're going to give you a quick look at our fleet today um, and the different kind of vehicles we use here during patrol. So it should be interesting. Okay, so to start off, we're going to go towards the 2010 ambulance, which is normally used in a peripheral patrol aspect. Every single ambulance you will see today has exactly the same kit on board. And this is all standardised by the London Ambulance Service in the early 2000s. So to start off with, it's an old box. The light bar gives it away. It, the newer boxes have, tend to have LED lights. These tend to have more your more traditional bulbs. As you can see, these haven't been retrofitted with a window or a door frame to get into the back easily. So you would have to get out, get into the back, and then close the door that way. So for safety, it's not the best in the world. In front of us we have a bag, this is your standard LAS kit bag, and it has everything you need from a broken foot all the way up to, well unfortunately a cardiac arrest. For cardiac arrests we do use a life pack. Life packs are very easy, it's a bit more of a, more. it's more complicated defib as I like to call it, much more complicated. But it does all the things that you need it to do, it tells us the rhythm of the patient, tells us exactly what the rhythm is, if there is any, if there's a pulse, if there's even anything going on with the lungs. Within this kit bag that we have, you know, your your average uh, bandages, uh, paracetamol in tablet form, uh, oxygen, mask, easy. We have a nebulizer as well, which is attached to that, it can be easily attached. Uh, other than that, there is anything else for you to go on. Paramedics may carry on, may carry an ALS bag which is just cannulation kits and paracetamol in a more liquefied form or IV access, uh, morphine, and a variety of other drugs that we can go into a little bit later on. This is Medic 5. It's based off of the 2010 Sprinter box. Medic 5 covers Heathrow Airport. But one of the sayings we usually say is, if you're going to have a heart attack, have it at Heathrow. You'll be seen to very quickly in a short amount of time. Obviously, try to avoid having a heart attack, but you can't always stop yeah. that. Uh, it's uh, not very good for your health. Uh, not really. Apparently, it's bad. Yeah. Surprising. Next. Uh, true. Next to Medic 5, we have the 2017 ambulance. Much more modern, a much more well equipped ambulance. Again, same kit as what we've just shown you. The difference between the 2017 and the 2010s is there's a little window. So previously, we might not have been able to hear our colleagues in the back if they're treating a patient. Now we can. Other than that, the obvious difference is there's no massive light bar on the top. We tend to have LEDs, and LEDs are also in the front, uh, in the grill. You may just be able to see them. Again, Mercedes Sprinter van. Just out kit for ambulance use, really. Hi. Obviously, we have the additions of the windows on the side and a couple of extra side doors. This is the most modern ambulance, it's the 2019 ambulance. Again, there's not much difference between this and the 2017 ambulance, I'm afraid. Other than the fact it's a bit chunkier. It certainly is chunkier. Do we want to put the lights on for the ladies and gentlemen watching? Oh, happily. You look amazing. Let's hang out soon. Sounds good. So this is, this is the lighting paint we use whilst we're responding. Um, it's got the blue and white LEDs on the front and in the grills I'm sure you can see there and then when we're on scene we turn on a different set of lights and that turns on the red lights that you might not have you seen. Want to get the red bits as well? Yes if you could. No worries. So yeah we've got so that first pack you saw is what we use whilst responding that goes in conjunction with sirens and then when we're on scene we go around the back here. If you want to want to put the on scene lights on Connor. And then once we go on scene we press another button and that turns the rear blues off and puts the rear reds on and then keeps the top rear blue or uh, top blue blues at the front running. Very pretty Connor. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> right, so what's actually inside uh, these ambulances? Well, this is the 2019 ambulance. It's very spacious and is a bit different to the 2010s. So we have two chairs there. Usually if there is an extra paramedic, which can happen on very traumatic arrests, we also have the patient care bed. And obviously we have the driver at the front. 
with certain navigation systems in case we need to get somewhere that's quite difficult. Uh, <clears throat> we also have the openable side door, which means easier access if for whatever reason the rear access is not accessible. The other main difference between this and the 2010 is just a bit more spacious, really. And you're getting much uh, more broader people, shall we say. <laughs> shall we move on to uh, St. John's? Yes, we should. Wonderful. So another part of our fleet which has been graciously lent to us for this by our, uh, the team here at St. John. They have so graciously lent us uh, some of their vehicles for us to show around for today. Definitely. And we do appreciate their help, as always. Yep. <clears throat> So, this is a Fiat. A bit of a rarity outside of London, some would argue. It's a Ducato, I believe it's called. Uh, yes, it is. And you may be wondering about the slide bar. It's a bit different to the 2010. It is LED. They've just stacked them on top of each other, which means they get to be seen very easy, very quickly. And obviously, we are always, always proud to be part of Pride. Yep. Well, a, we're rocking a very nice Pride livery right there. It's always lovely. So for those who love light, the grill again, top bar, a couple of side lights as well. Going down though, it was a bit different. We have some on the side. Have they given us permission to turn the lights on on one of the Jakartas? Yeah, I think we do. Why don't we whack it on? Very pretty to look at. Oh, look at that. That is... Unlike the LAS one, I haven't got any white on the front. It's just blue. Very, very pretty. Some... Ah, it's even got number plate lighting. I haven't been seeing that. Look around the side. It's getting very pretty. And then right at the back. Connor, do you want to put the scene lights on? And then look at the scene lights. Unlike our LAS ones, they have got the rear blue and the rear reds on. And go around to the side with the side lighting's off. And the front blues are on. Very, very pretty indeed. And then we've got two more Jakatos here with their two other liveries which they rock in London. Those being the yellow and the white one, or an alternate version of the one we've just seen. And of course we have the Man Ambulance. Yes, the MAN or the Morrison's Van, as people might call it. Morrison's Van. I'm not Do you know what? That's a funny story. Someone did mistake me for a Morrison's driver. <laughs> it does look like a Morrison's Van. <laughs> yeah. This which is fairly often. I'm sure you've it's, it's a rarity, but hey ho. <laughs> sure you've noticed. The difference between this and 2019 in terms of sirens is the ball horn's a bit dark, a bit deeper in tone, and the sirens are a little bit different tone. Yep. Otherwise, they've pretty much got the lighting pattern pretty much on spot on, really. Yeah. The light bar as well, unlike the R2019s and the Fiat's next to us, this one has got, uh, by looks, another the single strip of LED light bar, if you want to whack that on. Yes, look at that, that's really pretty. Got some very nice lights at the front. Once again, some very, very pretty side lighting. And then another light bar around the back. Connor, do you want to put the scene lights on? And then a very nice combination of blue and red here. On scene. And no side lighting. And then just the blue lighting running up here. Very pretty indeed. There we go. I think we've Always got forget that it's underneath the wheel, that one. Yeah. I think we've got another one set up over here as well with the doors open, don't we? Yes, we do. So, let's talk about this. This is the tail lift. So basically, that's where the stretcher goes. We lift it in. Very simple, very easy to uh, describe. The only difference between this and the 2019, as I'm sure you can see, is number one, the uh, color scheme. Number two, it's a little, bit, a little bit less spacious. It's a little bit less spacious. I'll move out of the way so you can see inside. But there's a lot more compartments. So a lot more stuff is easily reachable. Again, we have a side door. And both doors open well at the back. Very lovely inside as well. Yes, it is a very nice interior. I like the addition of the um, handholds at the top. And a very nice cab. Yeah. Right. Again, every single ambulance basically has a sat nav. Very useful. 
Oh yes, <laughs> the amount of times we've been stuck. <laughs> uh, goodness me. Yep, right.